Welcome to the After Spin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon. During the recent special session, there was a large number of protesters present at the legislative building. As many as 50 were arrested because they refused to leave the galleries and made too much noise. What rights do citizens have to protest uh, at our legislature and other uh, public bodies like the UNC Board of Governors? And when are they being disruptive? John, I'll start with you. Now, this is really not. This is well-trod ground. You have the right to speak and, and print by the First Amendment and basic human rights, the right to assemble, petition uh, for redress of grievances. On public property in a government building, those are all subject to reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions. Of course, if you're yelling and somebody else is yelling, then neither of you has freedom of speech. So you have to have basically take your turn kinds of rules. In the case of uh, a, a legislative body meeting, as we saw the other day with the special session, people get to protest outside the building, they get to make their views known, they can't disrupt the actions of the representative bodies and not expect some consequences. That's not part of what freedom of speech means. Freedom of speech is not the freedom to shout down or disrupt somebody else's activity. Uh, on private property, do whatever you want. On public property, there are reasonable restrictions or basically take your turn rules that people have to follow. Chris, what's your take on this? Well, I don't necessarily disagree with all that. I think this uh, past couple of weeks we've seen protesters who were understandably upset at the, what they thought was a, a power grab at the last minute and all the things that we talked about in the show. Uh, it is true that when they behave in a way that makes it impossible to conduct the business of the General Assembly, they, they are going to be asked to leave, and if they don't, they'll be arrested, and that's what happened. Uh, I do think in a couple of cases the legislative leaders overreacted and ordered the galleries cleared, which affected a lot of people who weren't protesting. I think there's a way to get protesters out of the gallery and still let the public in, because after all it's the public business, but I think the, they were frustrated and they ordered everybody arrested. A NC Policy Watch reporter was arrested just sitting there literally with a computer taking notes and reporting the news and a lot of other people who, who had to leave the gallery. So uh, it was a highly charged atmosphere. I think the General Assembly probably went too far. But, and I think the people that are down there protesting, when they start shouting, I think they know they're going to be arrested. And that's just part of what happens at the General Assembly. During these As a matter times. of fact, uh, when they do some of these, they ask for volunteers of people who will, right. are willing right. to that be. That wasn't actually true this time, but it has been true in the past. How, how much of an influence, the accusation, guys, was that there were a lot of out of state uh, uh, people who were coming in uh, trying to incite and, and uh, stir this all up. How much of that is accurate? Uh, I think there are out-of-state groups that were interested in these issues and in other issues that have been debated in special sessions. But it's my understanding that most of the people, or maybe all the people that were actually arrested, were North Carolinians. That's right. They were. I don't think anybody from out of state was, were arrested. I think this is, this this particular protest was almost organic and it wasn't well planned because nobody knew they were going to be in special session. These were local people who were upset and went to the legislature. Guys, neither one of you can be right. They arrested Santa Claus for Pete's sake, and he's from the North no, no, Pole. No, no, no. He is a North Carolinian. He just works at the North Pole. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, thanks for watching the After Spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.